Hello and welcome. As we head back into the market tomorrow, here's a list that shows you that there's so much options and deals to be had. Most of these stocks are either at all-time 52-week lows or very close. This is the ultimate watch list to have when you go into the market tomorrow. So get your pen and paper ready to jot down some good dividend stocks. Disclaimer. These are all my opinions and not to be considered financial or investing advice. This video and all our videos are for entertainment purposes only. Number 12. Walgreens Boots Alliance Incorporated. Ticker symbol WBA. Founded in 1901 and headquartered in Deerfield, Illinois. Walgreens Boot Alliance operates pharmacy-led health and beauty company. At the time of this video, Walgreens has a current price of $32.83. Walgreens is down by 32.25% on the one-year charts. Walgreens is very close to the 52-week low of $32.38. Walgreens has a market cap of $28.80 billion. Walgreens currently trades at a forward P of 6.51 which is lower than S&P 500. Current yield of 5.85%. For investors, that's 48 cents per share a quarter or $1.92 per share a year. Payout ratio of 35.37%. Walgreens has grown their dividend for five years. Number 11. Intel Corporation. Ticker symbol INTC. Founded in 1968 and headquartered in Santa Clara, California. Intel manufactures and sells microprocessors, chipsets, flash memory, as well as other products. At the time of this video, Intel has a current price of $27.52. Intel is down by 49.07% on the one-year charts. Intel is very close to the 52-week low of $27.19. Market cap of $115.26 billion. P.E. ratio of 12.15. Current dividend yield of 5.31%. For investors, that's 37 cents per share a quarter or $1.46 per share a year. Intel has a payout ratio of 35.98%, which means that there's good room to raise the dividend. Intel has grown their dividend for seven years. Number 10. Medtronic PLC. Ticker symbol MDT. Founded in 1949 and headquartered in Dublin, Ireland. Medtronic develops, manufactures, distributes and sells device-based medical therapies to hospitals, physicians, clinicians and patients worldwide. At the time of this video, Medtronic has a current price of $82.66. Medtronic is down by 36.73% on the one-year charts. Medtronic is very close to the 52-week low of $81.62. Medtronic has a market cap of $111.06 billion. Medtronic currently trades at a forward P of 14.88. Current yield of 3.29%. For investors, that's 68 cents per share a quarter or $2.72 per share a year. Payout ratio of 48.13%. Medtronic has grown their dividend for eight years. Number 9. Nike Incorporated. Ticker symbol NKE. Nike was founded in 1964 under the name Blue Ribbon before changing its name in 1971. Nike is headquartered in Beaverton, Oregon. Nike, together with its subsidiaries, designs, develops, market and sells athletic footwear, apparel, equipment, and accessories worldwide. At the time of this video, Nike has a current price of $97.02. Nike is down by 39.2% on the one-year charts. Nike is very close to the 52-week low of $95.34. Nike has a market cap of $154.58 billion. P.E. ratio of 25.98. Current yield of 1.26%. For investors, that's 31 cents per share a quarter or $1.22 per share a year. 
payout ratio of 30.86%, which means there's good room to raise the dividend. Nike has grown their dividend for nine years. Number 8. MasterCard Incorporated. Ticker symbol MA. Founded in 1966 and headquartered in Purchase, New York. MasterCard is a technology company that provides transaction processing and other payment-related product in America and worldwide. At the time of this video, MasterCard has a current price of $293.58. MasterCard is down by 17.08% on the one-year charts. MasterCard is very close to the 52-week low of $290.24. MasterCard has a market cap of $288.33 billion. MasterCard currently trades at a forward P of 27.74. Current yield of 0.67%. For investors, that's 49 cents per share a quarter or $1.96 per share a year. Payout ratio of 19.02%, which means there's exceptional room to grow the dividend. MasterCard has grown their dividend for 10 years. Number 7. Cisco Systems Incorporated. Ticker symbol CSCO. Founded in 1984 and headquartered in Santa Clara, California, Cisco Systems designs and manufactures internet protocols-based networking products for the communication and technology industry. At the time of this video, Cisco has a current price of $40.66. Cisco is down by 28.28% on the one-year charts. Cisco is very close to the 52-week low of $40.12. Cisco has a market cap of $169.08 billion. Cisco currently trades at a forward P of 11.52 which is lower than S&P 500. Current yield of 3.74%. For investors, that's 38 cents per share a quarter or $1.52 per share a year. Payout ratio of 44.64%. Cisco has grown their dividend for 10 years. Number 6. Whirlpool Corporation. Ticker symbol WHR. Founded in 1911 and headquartered in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Whirlpool manufactures and market home appliances such as refrigerators, freezers, ice makers, dishwashers, and laundry appliances. At the time of this video, Whirlpool has a current price of $140.79. Whirlpool is down by 32.64% on the one-year charts. Whirlpool is close to the all-time 52-week low of $138.15. Whirlpool has a market cap of $7.64 billion. P.E. ratio of 6.34. Whirlpool has a current dividend yield of 4.97%. For investors, that's $1.75 per share a quarter, or $7 per share a year. Payout ratio of 26.14%, which means there's great room to increase the dividend. Whirlpool has grown their dividend for 11 years. Number 5. United Parcel Service Incorporated. Ticker symbol UPS. Founded in 1907 and headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. United Parcel Service provides delivery services for letters and packages as well as transportation and logistics-related services. At the time of this video, UPS has a current price of $164.33. UPS is down by 12.02% on the one-year charts. UPS is very close to the 52-week low of $161.90. UPS has a market cap of $145.81 billion. UPS currently trades at a forward P of 12.79 which is lower than S&P 500. Current yield of 3.7%. For investors, that's $1.52 per share a quarter or $6.08 per share a year. Payout ratio of 40.19%. UPS has grown their dividend for 12 years. Before we move along, please consider pressing the like button, turning on the notification bell, and give us a subscribe. It honestly doesn't cost you anything.
However, your like tells the YouTube algorithm that you like content lists like this. It also helps the channel more than you think. We have nothing to sell you, no monthly Patreon for you to subscribe, and nothing to promote, so we implore you to encourage us. Please help us out by clicking that like button and it will mean a lot to us. Now let's move on. Number 4. Visa Incorporated, ticker symbol V. Founded in 1958 and headquartered in San Francisco, California, Visa is a global payment technology company. They facilitate digital payments among consumers, merchants, financial institutions, businesses, and other entities. Visa makes a boatload of money from selling services as a middleman financial institution and the merchant. At the time of this video, Visa has a current price of $183.96. Visa is down by 19.43% on the one-year charts. Visa is very close to the 52-week low of $182.23. Visa has a market cap of $384.37 billion. P.E. ratio of 25.00. Current yield of 0.81%. For investors, that's 38 cents per share a quarter or $1.50 per share a year. Payout ratio of 20.83%, which means there's great room to raise the dividend. Visa has grown their dividend for 13 years. Number 3. Microsoft Corporation. Ticker symbol MSFT. Founded in 1975 and headquartered in Redmond, Washington. Microsoft is a global company that develops, licenses, and supports software services and devices. At the time of this video, Microsoft has a current price of $237.92. Microsoft is down by 20.58% on the one-year charts. Microsoft is very close to the 52-week low of $235.20. Microsoft has a market cap of $1.78 trillion. P.E. ratio of 23.65. Current yield of 1.13%. For investors, that's 68 cents per share a quarter or $2.72 per share a year. Payout ratio of 26.96%, which means there's great room to raise the dividend. Microsoft has grown their dividend for 17 years. Number 2. Caterpillar Incorporated. Ticker symbol CAT, founded in 1925 and headquartered in Deerfield, Illinois. Caterpillar manufactures and sells construction and mining equipment. At the time of this video, Caterpillar has a current price of $164.24. Caterpillar is down by 16.47% on the one-year charts. Caterpillar is very close to the 52-week low of $161.73. Caterpillar has a market cap of $90.03 billion. Caterpillar currently trades at a forward P of 13.10 which is lower than S&P 500. Current yield of 2.92%. For investors, that's $1.20 per share a quarter or $4.80 per share a year. Payout ratio of 39.7%. Caterpillar has grown their dividend for 28 years. Number 1. Leggett & Platt, Incorporated. Ticker symbol LEG. Leggett & Platt designs, manufactures, and markets engineered components and products worldwide. At the time of this video, Leggett has a current price of $34.08. Leggett is down by 26.23% on the one-year charts. Leggett is very close to the 52-week low of $33.19. Leggett has a market cap of $4.62 billion. P.E. ratio of 12.60. Current yield of 5.16%. For investors, that's $0.44 cents per share a quarter or $1.76 per share a year. Payout ratio of 59.86%. Leggett has grown their dividend for 50 years, which makes them the leading dividend king on this list. Remember all we do is bring you the lists for entertainment. 
it is your duty to do your own due diligence and or consult an expert and invest your hard-earned money wisely. Please don't leave us without smashing the like button and give us a subscribe. Think of it as a tip for my hard work. I will greatly appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Disclaimer, please note that I showcased these stocks for educational purposes only, and shouldn't be taken as investment advice. I don't personally own all these stocks, just some. Please do you own due diligence and or consult your expert investment advisor as more fundamental analysis may be needed before investing. Please also note that the past performance of these stocks does not guarantee or indicate similar future performance. And please excuse all errors and omissions.